In this episode of Plastic Makes Perfect, are bigger breasts better breasts? Well, it's funny, I was just in Hollywood, and it's amazing the way the women wear their breasts there. It's just like they're right out there. They're just using them to hold up the clothes. Women are at a juggling act. They don't want to go so big that everyone at work says, where did you buy those? I would say that bigger breasts are better breasts on a classic sort of hourglass figure. In our hidden camera test, we asked Jerry, a natural A cup, to go undercover to find out if bigger breasts are better breasts. Will how long men talk about apples and oranges change when we give Jerry melons? And Christina thinks about exchanging her own lemons for grapefruit. They just don't look right to me. It's a want. It's like, you know, what do you want for Christmas? Well, I want breasts. <laughs> Every day, we are bombarded by images of young, perky, big breasts. And every year, women who believe bigger breasts are better breasts spend $1 billion on breast implant surgery. I don't disagree with plastic surgery, per se, because if I had the money and the time, I would start over. I would get everything done from the ground up. I'd leave my soul, but that's it. Are bigger breasts better breasts? You know, if you're a porn star, sure, bigger breasts are better breasts. But if you're a hurdle jumper, bigger breasts could be killer breasts. Personally, I like big boobs, but <laughs> that's just me. <laughs> Definitely not. As long as you've got confidence, size doesn't matter. Smaller breasts are better breasts, mainly for the bras. My bras take two people to get on, which is awkward, because I live alone. Most of the breast augmentations I do if you ask them a year later, they'd all do it again. The one regret they have is they didn't go bigger. The society we live in tends to uh, exaggerate women's physical features, especially the breasts. And so there may be women who believe that uh, if they look that way, then they would be more successful and more popular and happier. But uh, unfortunately, life isn't so simple. Are bigger breasts better? Hmm. Let me ask my back. Rebecca Rosenblatt is a registered sex therapist and expert on women's body image. What can social science tell us? Are bigger breasts really better? A study published in the Journal of Applied Social Psychology showed that men stereotype women based on their breast size. When they were asked to view some video footage of women giving speeches, A's were seen as bookish and shy, B's were seen as intelligent and professional, C's were seen as attractive and playful, and D's, whoa, watch out, they were seen as unprofessional and maybe even promiscuous. You'd think that the study was done in the 50s, but no, it's from the 21st century, year 2002. In our own hidden camera test, we're asking Jerry, a natural A cup, to conduct a market survey about men and fruit. What we're really testing is whether the amount of time men spend talking about apples and oranges increases as we increase Jerry's melons. Excuse me, do you have two minutes to answer a survey, Joe? Okay, have a good day. Hi there. Do you have two minutes to answer a survey? No. So far, our expert seems to be right. Men won't stop for Jerry's lemons. I mean, A cups. Christina, also in A-Cup, wonders if bigger breasts are better breasts and is considering implants. They just don't look right to me. Um, I call them tents. It's a want. It's like, you know, what do you want for Christmas? Well, I want breasts. <laughs> I don't think you need to go bigger. I like your boobs, but, you know, it's your body and, and I think that's a decision that you have to make. But if it's true that 50% of the population will stereotype Christina as shy and bookish, who could blame her for wanting to burst out of an A-cup? If I always had small breasts, I don't feel proportional, and it's a concern for me. Getting plastic surgery goes a little bit against my value system, just because I grew up uh, being told that I should love myself no matter what. Dr. Mitchell Brown is a board-certified plastic surgeon in Toronto. He performs over 200 breast implants every year. Will A-Cup Christina add to the growing number of women who get breast implants, up 35% in the last five years? 
In our hidden camera test, A-Cup Jerry is hard at work trying to find out. Are bigger breasts really better? The result of phase one. As an A-Cup, Jerry kept men interested in her survey for an average of only 22 seconds. Will she be more successful when her lemons become grapefruits? Dr. Brown has some surprising information for Christina. You may have, may not have noticed, the breast kind of looks a little bit pointed. A tent? Maybe you could put it that way. And why does it do that? You've got nice, soft, smooth skin out through here, mm -hmm. but you're very tight and constricted down here. We were able to identify that she had a slight abnormality to the shape of her breast, something that we call a tuberous breast. Dr. Brown recommends a cohesive silicone gel implant shaped like a teardrop to stretch out the lower part of Christina's breast. One of the best ways for a woman to see what they're going to look like is by trying on implants. I'm laughing at myself only because we spent 29 years not having breasts, so the idea to see what it might feel like is very odd to me. It was, uh, oh my god, this is what they're going to be like? Christina has a big decision to make. Well, there's risks and to everything. Absolutely. And, and there's pros and cons. And... Breast implants cost thousands of dollars. Christina will miss a week of work after the surgery. The fiancé will have to take care of the household for one month. As with any surgical procedure, complications can occur, although careful surgical planning and surgeon selection can decrease the likelihood of these occurring. A few possible complications you need to know are Implant deflation. Saline-filled breast implants have the potential of deflating, although this occurs at a rate of less than 1% per year. Deflation can be corrected by replacing the implant. Capsular contracture. The scar tissue that naturally forms around every implant can tighten in a small percentage of women, resulting in a breast that is hard and misshapen. What size do you think I should go? Quadruple Q. Shut up. <laughs> I, I don't think you need to go bigger. I like your boobs, but you know, it's your body and, and I think that's a decision that you have to make. And if it were up to me, I wouldn't see the need to do it because, you know, I love you the way you are. I don't, I don't think you, you need to have them. But what do other men think about breast implants? Majority of men still prefer the real McCoy. However, there are a few men who do prefer the implants for their perkier nature and because they are larger. A woman uh, is going to feel more sexy about herself. She's going to be more uninhibited, and she's probably going to have a better uh, sex life for sure. Maybe, but then you have to consider the fact that when you do get those implants, some women lose total sensitivity in their nipples and surrounding area. I think many men prefer breast implants more than would be willing to admit it. Wait a minute, what was that? Men like big breasts? Some are obvious, but I defy most men to be able to tell. For the most part, I'm all for breast implants. As far as I'm concerned, I think they're awesome. Jerry isn't about to get breast implants to help us test if bigger breasts are better breasts. Do you have two minutes to answer survey? No. But she is willing to take us from point A to point B to point C to point D. Will increasing Jerry's breast size increase the amount of time men will spend talking to her about melons? Rebecca Rosenblatt's prediction? My hunch is that when she's a B cup or a C cup, she'll get the best response. As D, it's going to be obvious. She might get a lot of attention or people might just pull back. Coming up on Plastic Makes Perfect. Will men confirm that bigger is better? What size of fruit do you consider the most appealing? Melons. Christina's desire for big is about to be fulfilled. I was just sort of taking deep breaths and going, OK, when I wake up, I'm going to have something new to look forward to. Previously on Plastic Makes Perfect, in our hidden camera test, we've asked Jerry, a natural A-cup, to help us find out if men think bigger breasts are better breasts. While Jerry conducts a survey about men and fruit, 
We're testing whether the amount of time men will talk about apples and oranges will increase as we increase Jerry's melons. What size of fruit do you consider the most appealing? Melons. And will Christina trade her own lemons for grapefruit? I feel pretty confident that I'd like to do it. I think then, then you should go ahead and you should do it. Preferred breast size has grown from flat in the 1920s to the bosom mania of the 1960s. In 2005, breast augmentation was the number two cosmetic surgery procedure, second only to liposuction. It's a fact that women who get breast implants are usually younger, healthier, richer, which is really not surprising that young, rich girls get breast implants. I mean, you know, the ones that don't have to spend their money on uh, food, rent, <laughs> the pesky stuff. Are bigger breasts better breasts? As a natural A cup, Jerry has kept men interested in her survey for an average of only 22 seconds. In phase two of our hidden camera test, we'll find out if men's interest in melon will increase as we increase Jerry's melons. What is therapist and body image expert Rebecca Rosenblatt's prediction? My hunch is that when she's a B cup or a C cup, she'll get the best response. As D, it's going to be obvious. She might get a lot of attention, or people might just pull back. So bigger will be better until bigger becomes too big? So far, our Plastic Makes Perfect Breast Test is going as our expert predicted. B and C cup Jerry do quite well, averaging 90 and 95 seconds per encounter. D cup Jerry stands alone until... Could I bother you two gentlemen? I don't, I don't think he's a gentleman, but I, You're a gentleman? I, I'm willing to talk to you. Yes. What's your heart? My name is Jerry. Hi. Oh, excellent. This is, you're the most polite man I've met in the market well, so far. You're a beautiful woman. Oh, thank you very much. My goodness. Soon, Christina will have her own answer. She's an hour away from her breast implant surgery. Before going through such big major surgery, I think it'd be important for a woman to be really clear as to her motives and why she's decided to do this. And if it isn't straightforward and if there's any doubts, then it makes sense to perhaps talk about those doubts and look at perhaps other ways of accomplishing the goals. Coming up on Plastic Makes Perfect, are bigger breasts better breasts? Christina is about to find out. I was just sort of taking deep breaths and going, OK, when I wake up, things will be fine. And uh, I'm going to have something new. And the final result of our hidden camera test. OK. Wash yourself. OK. I have a washer's grip through here. Oh, there you go. Previously on Plastic Makes Perfect, in our hidden camera test, we've sent A cup Jerry undercover to find out if the amount of time men will talk about apples and oranges changes when we give Jerry melons. And Christina makes her own change and is about to say goodbye to A cups. They just don't look right to me. Breast implants generally do not last a lifetime. On average, a patient will replace her implants 10 to 15 years after her first surgery. It's said that women after breast surgery, their life improves. Social life improves, mental health improves, confidence soars. Really, again, shocking. Women with big boobs and tons of boyfriends are happy. Really? Surprising. Are bigger breasts better breasts? What has our hidden camera test told us? A cup Jerry kept men's attention for just 22 seconds. B cup Jerry was much more successful with an average of 97 seconds. C cup Jerry edges out B by 11 seconds. Can a piece of fruit be too big? No. D cup Jerry garnered a lot of attention, but not in her work. Oh, thank you. The guy is still talking. Which do you think would be best for a snack? How big would you say? This. Oh, good. I am too. Which of the following words comes to mind when you think of grapefruit? Ripe, adventurous, lush, or satisfying? Satisfying. Do men really think bigger breasts are better breasts? Our studies indicate that yes, they do have a preference for them. There we have it. An ugly truth about beauty. Would you get breast implants? 
Would I get breast implants? I think not. The twins reached double D when I was in my early teens. If they were making a remake of Striptease, the ethnic version, and they were looking at me for the lead part, maybe a C cup or two wouldn't hurt. No, I wouldn't want my wife to get implants. She's already my wife, so clearly I liked something when I got married. There's no point paying for it at that point. <laughs> I'm still thinking very seriously about breast augmentation. Girl, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, girl? Anything that I feel will make me look better, that'll make me feel better, I would definitely do. Would I get breast implants? I think you mean, would I get more breast implants? I would never get breast implants. So I just don't think that there's any way to duplicate Mother Nature. Definitely not. I love my small breasts. Christina does not love her small breasts. Board certified plastic surgeon Dr. Mitchell Brown gets Christina ready for her breast implants. It's a little nervous, uh, but I was just sort of taking deep breaths and going, okay, when I wake up, things will be fine and uh, I'm gonna have something new. Here's how breast implant surgery goes. An incision is made below the crease where the breast meets the chest. A pocket is created in the tissue, in Christina's case, under her chest muscle, to accommodate the implant. The implants are inserted, and once Dr. Brown is happy with the balance and symmetry, the incision is closed. And just 90 minutes after she was taken to the operating room, Christina has her bigger breasts. Christina and I have been together for seven years now, and it's exciting to think that next time I see her, she's going to be different. I'm glad Christina's safe and everything's OK, and I hope that she'll be happy with her new look. Uh. The decision about getting implants can affect a woman in many ways. And one of the greatest benefits often is in self-confidence and self-esteem. It's my sense that most women feel a little bit better about themselves, just a bit more confident about the way they look, and just carry themselves in a, in a bit more of a positive way. I would certainly be very scared to get implants. There's uh, studies coming out that uh, it's very difficult to have a mammogram, and there is a slight chance that an implant can hide a cancerous tumor. Coming up on Plastic Makes Perfect. Will Christina's teardrop implants bring tears or tears of joy? Previously on Plastic Makes Perfect, in our hidden camera test, we took Jerry from an A cup to a D cup to find out if bigger breasts are better breasts. The answer, go big, just not too big. Okay. Luscious, have a luscious drink for here. <laughs> Most women seeking breast implants want a conservative change in shape and size, but there are a few who look for the larger sizes popularized by the media. So I guess if breast implants make women happy, then one day breast implants could actually replace the therapist. Can you imagine going to a shrink? Talking to the cleavage. <laughs> But do breast implants show a woman's fierceness or a shallow mind? I think if someone wants to change something about themselves, plastic surgery is empowering. I think under the right circumstances, a breast implant can enhance a woman's self-esteem, but uh, it has to be a well-thought-out decision and it has to be something that uh, was considered over time. I think sexiness and confidence comes from within and she's got that on the inside that'll definitely show on the outside. For someone who's fantasized about bigger breasts being better, breast implants can indeed enhance their self-esteem. It'll give them the confidence, the boost that they associate with bigger breasts in their minds. Christina's had plenty of time for a boost. It's been six months since her breast implant surgery. Well, let's have a look and see how things are going. Do you feel like it's now all better? Healed, yes. comfortable, and yes. part of you and everything? Definitely. And now you can sort of look in a mirror and say, this is my final outcome. They feel so natural to me mm -hmm. and that they're a part of me now. So it, I, there's no abnormalities or anything. Everything feels really well inside. From a medical point of view, Christina's breast implant surgery has been a success. Christina has increased her breast size from a 34A 
to a 36C. For those of you keeping track, that's a lemon to a grapefruit. But whether her breast implant surgery has been successful or not can only be determined by Christina herself. I would say my confidence has changed primarily in the way I dress. I feel sexier in being able to wear things that are tighter fitting and more revealing. So it was definitely, definitely worth it to have it turn out really well in the end and to feel the way I do now, which is just sexier and just fantastic overall. Are bigger breasts better breasts? Yes, bigger boobs are better for me.